The men's 800 meters, Sebastian Coe in lane three holds the world record. He set it seven years ago. Craig, is he still the man to watch now? Well, he says he's only at 90 to 95 percent of his top form. He failed to make the British Olympic team. He had bronchitis at their trials. He wasn't selected in the 800 or the 1500 meters. He, of course, is the only man ever to win two 1500 meter titles in the Olympics. He won't be in Seoul this year. The man in all yellow right there is Dudene Quizera, and he is out there quickly, but moving into the front is Musa Fall. Musa Fall, who's trained by Saeed Awida, a man we'll see later in the mile run. Tom McKean is running second from Great Britain, and there's Sebastian Coe coming around on the outside. They look to be running fairly slowly at this point. It's not a fast-paced race. And of course, since it's the Grand Prix final, people aren't running necessarily for time as they would in certain other events. As we see Quizera take the lead here, they're running to win Grand Prix points and a Grand Prix title. Dudene Quizera deciding he wants to take the lead for the final lap. 54.74, more like you'd seen a high school race. Now, Co in the past used to have problems in races of this kind where it was very tactical. McKean, his countryman, who's in second right now, is excellent off a slow pace like this as we see Co trying to take the lead. Now, McKean is a great tactician. He's kept Co outside. They're well aware of the slow pace in that first lap. That is why Cove apparently is going to the lead or trying to get the lead now. Well, in the 1980 Olympics, where he was heavily favored in this event as the world record holder, he spotted the rest of the guys about five yards. Steve Ovet held him off to the finish line. And here's McKean, a great finisher himself, who's going to go into the home stretch with about three yards on Cove. It's the two runners from Great Britain, McKean and Cove. Cove trying to catch him, but he's not going to do it. Tom McKean from Great Britain. Sebastian Coe was second, and coming in third was Dudene Quizera. That's got to be a disappointment for Sebastian Coe. It's McKean who is the third man on the British 800 meter squad. They're taking Steve Cram, they're taking uh, Peter Elliott, and they're taking Tom McKean in the 800 meters. Coe was left home, but McKean proves that perhaps it was the right decision. Coe just doesn't seem to be in top form after a case of bronchitis. And part of the mistake was that he spotted about three yards to McKean as they came around the last turn. McKean's known to be a fierce finisher. He's got a great kick down the home stretch. Coe just wasn't going to make up that much room in the last 100 meters. McKean sensed that Coe wasn't with him. He seems to lift his knees even higher here. He's a very strong runner, very dangerous in this sort of race off a slow pace. He'll be someone to be reckoned with in Seoul. Tom McKean and Sebastian Coe from Great Britain finished 1-2 in the men's 800 meters, but both more than six seconds off Sebastian Coe's world record set in.